In this video, we discuss search engine indexing. The internet was originally founded in 1969 as a collection of four US Department of Defense computers known as ARPANET. It has since grown to a worldwide network of networks. As of 2020, the number of connected devices is estimated to be around 50 billion, with a further 4 to 5 billion estimated to be added in 2021 alone due to the explosion of the Internet of Things. One of the most well-known functions of the Internet is the World Wide Web, invented by British scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lees in 1989. As of 2020, there are estimated to be around 1.8 billion websites. With almost 2 billion websites out there, finding something on the internet can be like trying to find a needle in a haystack, especially if you don't even know where the haystack is to begin with. To make the job of finding information on the web easier, we use search engines. When you submit a search via a search engine, it isn't actually searching every single available web page on the internet. Instead, the search engine runs your request against its index. Indexing is the process of a search engine collecting, sorting and storing data in its index. Therefore, the index is the place where all the data the search engine has gathered is located. When you see search results appear on your screen, it is the search engine index that provides these. Searching the index is very fast. However, the index must be constantly updated to ensure that new sites and pages are added, old sites are removed and broken links are updated. Search engines use programs known as spiders or crawlers that travel the World Wide Web. They index any pages, content and metadata they find and map links between pages by following all internal and external links. In doing so, they continuously add and update their index. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How do search engines work? 